to our other breaking story, the release of special counsel Robert Hur's report on President Biden's handling of classified documents. No charges are being recommended. Let's get to David Spun. He's live for us at the Justice Department with the breaking information on this. David. Hey, Trace, you could call it a busy day in Washington, D.C. We got this report, 345 pages. And while there are no charges, it is still damning for not only President Biden, but his administration. I want to read some very important passages. First of all, let's put up the fact that uh, we have photographs that show Biden's garage, the president's garage at his Wilmington, Delaware home, with boxes, tattered, ripped, torn boxes containing classified documents. You remember he told our Peter Ducey that he kept them in his garage. It's not like they were out on the street, something along those lines. So we know that a lot of these documents had to do with Afghanistan and his uh, opposition to his boss, then President Obama's decision to send a troop surge to Afghanistan. Biden was always against that, so he kept a lot of classified documents related to Afghanistan. Now, I want to read this. It says, quote, we have also considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. Based on our direct interactions with and observations of him, he's someone from whom many jurors will want to identify reasonable doubt. It would be difficult to convince a jury that they should convict him, by then a former president well into his 80s, of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. This is directly from page six of the report, but as I noted with John and Sandra just about eight minutes ago or so, uh, they're assuming that President Biden either wouldn't run in, you know, for another term or wouldn't win in November because this would not take another four years if he wins uh, to go to trial and get a conviction. So we see picture after picture of documents that are in his garage. Some of the other key passages, it says there is no evidence that Mr. Biden shared classified information with any foreign person. Uh, in January 2017, after the end of his vice presidency, Mr. Biden found classified documents at his Virginia home and returned them. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, uh, critical of him, no question, saying that he did willfully uh, take classified documents, uh, but did return them once he thought it was appropriate to return them. And over and over, as we see right there in those pictures, that's that box I'm talking about with the Afghanistan documents uh, in his garage in Wilmington, Delaware. And, and this all comes at the same time uh, the former president is facing trial in Florida for taking classified documents. But legal analysts, and I'm not a legal analyst, will say that uh, it may be a little bit different because Donald Trump was issued a subpoena to turn those over. Biden was not. Uh, but after all, this is not good news for the White House here uh, when they're trying to uh, get away from this. And here we go with picture after picture after picture, 345 pages total for this report, Trace. Yeah, and some of the text is also not very complimentary. Uh, David Spunt, we'll let you get uh, looking more at that thing. We'll get back to you as the news breaks. Hey, everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.